Some labeling machines are built like war tanks. But is that an indication of progress? Or is a 1,700 pound machine used to label a two pound container simply a lack of engineering? What if your labeling system was completely synchronized? What if every component, such as the conveyor, wrap station, top hold down, spacing belt, and labelers were all in sync? With the touch of one single button, you could fully control the entire machine perfectly. How much money would you save in setup time, container and label losses, as well as operator frustrations and errors? Enough to pay for itself in less than six months? Yes, absolutely. Take a look at this video. Okay, so here's a video of the machine and we're gonna show you how to drive it uh, very slowly. We're gonna be doing a front and back and we're going to go from the front and back over to a wrap once that's done. So here we go. This is the front and back very slowly. You have the spacing belt right there and it's going to go through the orienter, top clamp down, labeled, and voila. The next one that's coming through, we're going to stop it midway through an application and show you that the labels won't stop or won't continue. They'll actually stop. There you go. Even if you stop it right now with your existing system, right now you'd have a jam. So we're going to keep it going and there you have it. And we're going to go a little quicker. You can go faster within the same application as it goes. Slow it down for me, please, and speed up while it's going. There you go. It doesn't make any difference. Back and back. Back and back. And we're also doing the front end back. So I'm just going to pull a little label here. This is the front. Excuse my hands. And this is the back. So let me dump one. That's the back. And that's the front. So we're going to do a changeover right now. We're back in the front of the machine. The first thing we're going to need to do is we're going to go to the screen. And we're going to do a retrieve recipe in use. Choose the big orange, which is around. It tells you in progress. We'll hold a little bit. And the minute, the minute it comes up, now everything is electronically done. All it's telling you is to do the manual work as far as where your entrance guides need to be, 155. So we're gonna to go to the guide of 155, and that's very easy as far as the numbers are concerned. And there it is, 155 for the A. And you're gonna keep going one at a time, following these recipes, spacing belt, A and B, next screen, front side. It's telling you the orienting device needs to be a 91 or 200 product sensor. That's already there. Front side, now these are the values you need to enter. So A193, B45, C215, and D31, which Luke is already starting to do. And what he's setting up now is the A, B, C, D. And there's the A, fixing that up according to the sheets or according to what's on screen. You lock it, move into position, relock it. We're looking at the screen again. Now we're going to do C, and C would be how deep the machine goes inwards. We're going to remove the brush so that we can move the spacing wheel or the uh, wrap station back into position. And there we go. We're going to follow that exact setup recipe that's in the touchscreen according to what we need to do. Again, right there. Okay, just seeing that he's doing it in the meantime. And the back side, all we need to do is make sure that the guides will accommodate the round bottles. Again, that's on the screen and he's gonna put it to the exact value that's on the screen. The orienter doesn't need to be touched at all since we're not gonna be using it at all. 
And the back labeler, just making sure that it's not going to touch anything, which probably right now it is not. The next step is this top clamp down, which we were using for a hold down for the container. When you're running a wrap, you don't need it at all. And so since you don't need it at all, any value above where it was is more than adequate. It doesn't have to be precise or anything. You don't need the top clamp down when you're doing a, uh, doing a wrap around. So as long as it's up and about, that's fine. Next, we're going to be doing the back plate for the wrap station, and that should have the right values to begin with since we probably didn't touch it much. Adjusting that. Again, always according to what's on scale on the screen, and it's in relation to each one of these letters, each one of these letters with the values that are right there every single time. So now he just wants to verify that everything is okay. Again, you don't need the top clamp down, the sensor's adequately flashing, and we're ready to go. What we're going to need to do now is the only thing left is changing that label roll. So here we go. We started the label roll change at 751 on my counter. And what Luke's going to do actually is cheat a little bit and splice. Show you how that can even be possible. As simple as that. Go from one label roll to the next, change format, and just splice in between. That way it's a lot easier to just keep going. He's putting a label behind it, putting the other label right on top, so you don't have to undo all the threading at all. And we're going to get rid of the excess labels that are there, which you would do anyway if you were changing rolls on, at another time. <sighs> now we didn't do anything special to this thing. We're just wanting to show you how you can splice it and get it ready for your next label roll. And voila. So the only thing we need to do, as we told you guys, is we need to calibrate the sensor, which we're about to do right now. Calibrate. Go to the screen. Slow it down. And we're ready to go. So we fed one label. The wrap rounds are coming down the line. And now my numbers say 9 minutes and 18 seconds and that's your wrap station right there zero waste all the time we're gonna have another one here we'll run it at different speeds and all that we need to do to run at different speeds is change on screen not changing any of the sensor position and there you have it I'm going to get right behind it here, nice and slow. Reach out, grab this one, let the other one fall, just so I can show you the wrap station job right there. Look at the precision of this thing. Look at this. Zero waste. So we went from one container to another in less than blinking time. And there you have it. We didn't lose one container. We haven't lost one label, and there you have it.